my apologies. I got ranting and then wasn't watching my time. Um, so this will be episode two. I'm still learning how to do stuff on YouTube. So I'm going to have this episode two. I'm not going to do this that often. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. So as I was stating, that life, if you want to call it life or not, it's up to you, but that clump of cells <laughs> was trying to be annihilated from existence. Then makes it and survives. Is in the hospital. Now it is an entity. It's a you know, sovereign citizen, or it is um, whatever you want to call it. But it's, it's actually a person now. And the doctors, by New York law, um, dictate that they don't even have to help it survive. I find gross negligence. If you take it as an adult or even a child that's grown, that survived a couple of years, that has come in in the hospital by the Hippocratic Oath, the doctor has to help the child. Just not this child now. Now we're being selective on who can be helped and who can't be helped in the state of an emergency. That I don't agree with. I will stick to my stance that um, when it comes to abortion, ladies, you might not like it. Guess what? I don't care. Um, if you are wanting to get an abortion, then I don't think you're going to be a good mom. You're not thinking of the well-being of your future offspring. You're more concerned about yourself. Okay. I see a lot of guys that are wanting to be fathers that are not able to be fathers. I've been, I've seen a lot of men that get in relationships where a lady has a kid and there's no dad around and desperately wants to be the kid. She doesn't allow him to be the dad. It's been proven statistically that you erase the dad out of the situation. Your increases of deviant behavior go up. <sighs> and uh, a little bit of hostility. You know, like I said, it's been by uh, government stand, uh, government statistics, women are more likely to abuse their children. You don't really ever seen. I haven't seen an article yet about a female or about a male that has taken their kids and drowned them all one by one, or taken it and put them on the car, and then you know drive off a bridge. There are there are more stories on that than a man that has killed his entire family. Uh, in recent news, there was like a Florida guy that did that, his pregnant wife. And you'll find most men that would call that guy certain names and would love to have just 10 minutes with him to express physically what they think of that guy. Now, the other aspect of there's many aspects. A lot of people are just focusing on one. Well, it's women's rights or it's you're killing babies, especially after they're born. I understand that. I want to open it up to a wider, wider range. I want to look at, you know, after this choice, what's going to happen in society? You know, we have uh, on the left, normally uh, advocates for this kind of uh, abortion. And they also advocate for immigration because we're not producing in numbers. Well, stick with a pattern. <laughs> like you all over the board. <laughs> We're not, we need illegal immigrants because, uh, you know, we're not uh, reproducing at a rate that's in, in replacement. Okay, that's fine. But you're, you're advocating, you know, that scenario to, you know, to be the case. You you want you want the abortion you want the the, the not to to reproduce and and replenish the the population. This is like eugenics all over. This is like um uh, you know the king when they get, woman got married he had the first night with her. Uh, it was a uh, if we can't get them out we'll breed them out. <laughs> this is the, that modern day of uh, that doctrine that king doctrine. I can't remember what it is, but I know Iron Man or Tony Stark said it in, uh, in like the first Avengers, the second Avengers that, you know, teed off a bunch of feminists. And I know it was in uh, Braveheart. Uh, the problem with Scotland is they're all bloody Scots. I guess if we can't, you know, throw them out. I guess we'll breed them out. 
know. And that was one of the main kicks in that movie uh, that they were trying to demonstrate that started the whole revolution in the fight for their own kinship, their own country. So, anyway, I'll end the video here. Lots of thoughts for you to, to think about. Comment, like, and subscribe. If you think differently, please let me know. And this will be episode two. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. So you guys have a great and wonderful day.